Ben! <laughs> Hold on, we have a mic. Ben! A good mic. We've seen you put in a lot of work and we all appreciate it. And we're all rooting for you, mate. Yeah. Yeah. But there's one thing. You must be nervous, but we don't want to see you nervous. No. We want to see you angry! <laughs> okay, I'm not sure there was a question in here. <laughs> oh, thanks for the support. <laughs> yeah, we've been, we have been working really hard for this event, as I'm sure all of these teams have. And yeah, we've been out, you know, on the water, training hard in the gym, getting getting the fitness going. The boys are really up for the event, and just looking forward to getting on with the racing. And thanks for all the support. Good luck, Ben. All right, thank you, Ben. So we have a microphone in front, so raise your hand high, and we can get the, the microphone to you, sir. Please tell us who, who you are and what you represent as well. Hello, I'm Stuart from the Portsmouth News. Okay, I've got a couple of questions for Ben. Um, what drives you on to succeed, and where did that hunger come from? Well, I think like everybody else here, uh, we're all pretty driven to try and win the America's Cup. Uh, certainly for me, it's been a lifelong ambition. Uh, I was very fortunate to be with Jimmy and his team last time, and now we want to win it for Britain and bring it back home. Thank you, Ben. Something tells me that these questions are going to be a bit skewed to your, your left. But that's all right. We're here in Portsmouth. Um, next question, please. For Ben Ainsley. I'm Ben Perkins, and I'm an Optimist sailor. And Ben, how long have you been sailing for? Hey Ben, I've been sailing for about 30 years, which unfortunately gives away my age a little bit. Um, and I grew up down in Cornwall, in far in the southwest, and started to sail in Optimus, which was great fun. And I never imagined we would have an America's Cup team or any any of this. So to be here now to have this America's Cup World Series on on our home port is absolutely fantastic. So. Yeah, if you're out there and you're optimist, just keep going, keep hiking hard, and enjoy it. Young, young man, hang on. Young man, how old are you? How old, how old are you? 11 years old. All right, the future British sailing right here. Thank you. Yes. Next question. Off to the left there. <laughs> There are five other skippers represented. Hello, uh, my name is Nicholas and I'm a graduate in the Bank of Management after being a game maker. And I would like to ask each of these skippers and how long it takes to train um, Olympic um, sailors and America's Cup sailors in each country. Well, uh, okay, I'll start off. It's actually a lot easier now to make a transition from Olympic sailing to America's Cup sailing. And all of the guys here are all dinghy sailors and made that transition pretty quickly. In terms of training up for each of the events, it's really uh, probably two, three years. Certainly the America's Cup is a, is a two, two year campaign now. And some of the guys here, Nathan's going to be doing both the next Olympics and the America's Cup. So he's probably the best to answer that. Yeah, as, as Ben was saying, like it's, it is a full-time job, you're, you're training every day and um, for us we're campaigning again for the Rio Olympics after winning gold in London and um, as an example, the moment this regatta ends, I'm on a plane, I'm straight to Rio, training there for the next Olympics and then straight to Gothenburg, so you might not have seen many of the sailors doing any racing or competing since the last America's Cup, but I'm pretty sure most of these guys are on the water nearly at least half the week, you know, they're always out there training, they're in the gym, they're working with designers, they're working with engineers, and uh, it's a full-time job, and it's, it's an amazing job, and I'm pretty safe to say that everyone here loves exactly what they're doing. Thank you, Nathan. Thank you, sir. We have time for just a few more questions, and I'd like to remind the media that afterwards, we'll also have one-on-one -on -one sessions in the media center. Yes, sir, in the center. 
Hi, Toby from uh, Yachts and Yachting. Can I ask you all, you've just been out uh, practicing today, um, so uh, you should have a fairly good idea of uh, who's got the grips of the boat, so uh, who's fastest and who's slowest. Oh, that's a question for everybody. I like that. Oh, I think Ben's clearly faster than everyone. I thought that'd go down pretty well here. Um, no, honestly, I think he has had a bit of an edge, you know, but um, every day I think the rest of us have been getting faster, getting to grips with the venue here, and I think you'll see that in the racing coming up. We've got one more practice day tomorrow, Saturday we have two races, and then the Sunday is actually double points. So the beauty of this racing is that it's never over, you know, and you've always got a shot to win the regatta come Sunday. So it should be exciting, you know, we'll have to see how it goes. That's, I think we'd expect that one from you, Jimmy. Well put. Deep, who's, uh, who did you think looked fastest on the water and, and or uh, who, who gets the most improved award later? Yeah, we got a bit of work to do. Um, <laughs> but uh, no, it's all good. Um, yeah, uh, the race course is um, going to be quite challenging. There's plenty of opportunities. Um, yeah, it's um, you know, still another day to, uh, tomorrow to sort of um, keep working on it and then, um, you yeah, know, we can see what happens on the weekend, but it's, uh, yeah, we've seen so far, it doesn't take much to sort of be, to go from the front to the back. So, uh, yeah, we'll just keep, uh, keep chipping away. Nick, how are you guys feeling looking to this weekend? I think, um, you know, every team has only had their boats for maybe two weeks now, so it's been a very tough two weeks to learn how to sail these foiling boats. They're, they're a bit different to what we had in the World Series last time. The, the foiling aspect really changes how we sail the boats. And, um, you know, I think it's been really close. If anyone was watching what was going on out there today, there was never the same boat in front. You know, Ben's obviously at the front more than the rest of us at the moment. And uh, we're training very hard to try and catch him. And uh, you know, hopefully by Sunday we can take advantage of those double points and uh, go one up on him. And Frank, how do you feel looking at this weekend with a lot of opportunities on this racetrack? Yeah, we were a little bit late today, so we did only one race. There were more boats in front of us than behind us, so we have to change that tomorrow. And uh, it's a one design class, so everybody are fast sometimes. Thank you, Glenn. Thoughts on this weekend? Yeah, look, I think I mean, all, the, all the teams, I think, if they get off the start line well, um, get round mark one in good shape and do their boat handling well, we'll uh, have an opportunity to win win some races. So I think the uh, the team that uh, you know, organises their boat handling well and coordinates uh, the five crew on board the best, I think we'll, uh, we'll come away with a regatta win. And Ben, I know we've heard from you a couple of times. Maybe you could just tell us your thoughts on the uh, on who you thought was hot, other than you guys uh, up here. I, I thought Jimmy was pretty hot. <laughs> I mean, fast, you know. <laughs> oh, fast. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> no, joking aside, uh, all the teams are going really well. Um, I think certainly it shows that Oracle and Artemis, uh, the two teams that have progressed in the last cup with sort of similar personnel and. Uh, that, that shows a little bit, the rest of us are all new groups coming together, but within those new groups, very, very talented squads, and I think the race is just going to be incredibly close. Great, thank you guys. Uh, thank, thanks to everybody on the stage here now.